all right welcome back everybody in this tutorial we are coming to look at the final section of our landing page series which is going to be section 5 uh, mind you this is going to be officially the final session it doesn't mean that your suggestions won't be welcome so if you want us to do more of this section of course we can go ahead and still have section 6 section 7 section 8 and down going but for this section 5 this is going to be the official i mean this where i've decided to stop for now it doesn't mean that your advices or your suggestions won't be welcome so in this section like i promised i said i'm going to do something different uh, something different i mean is that i'm going to use um profile background just like what we did here you can see this guy with big head and you can see this guy again but you will notice something that um the picture is covered with a kind of wild white silk um yeah don't 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 just get so confused and it's not something so amazing that we haven't seen it before we have seen it in different places but today what is amazing is that we are coming to do the same thing here good so without wasting much time let's just jump into it so I'm adding a new section row and in this section row should I name it I don't think it's necessary but of course we give our PY5 it's always necessary and general padding of three okay um, for now we are going to just maintain this thing and we give a normal title stuff class go 12 h1 class display display for um, <coughs> test center test center you can say section 5 what, what else are you still expecting if not that h4 class test center mb4 something about section 4 something about section 5 will be here okay and we give this guy margin of but margin bottom of um, 3 we can say it's okay it's okay let's see how it will look like do you notice something good but at this section we are going to add the background now i want you to notice something um this is the 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 section container if i want to style something that would be general for that section i would do it here this is section class so i want to give you the background of uh, primary primary and I want to preview it. Whoops. You see the color here. Good. So um, what we want to do is that we want this um, background to be a picture, not actually a color. So um, let's choose a class. I will call this class um, profile. So BG profile. Profile. Preview. Well, we get nothing here. So let's go to our custom CSS. Don't get big stuff yet. I'm just, I will make it um, as friendly as possible. So let's push all these guys down so that you won't see it. It's just going to be you and me. We click dot. Just do as I did. As I'm doing. Dot um, BG. Profile. Whenever we use dot. We, it stands for class. 
and whenever we use this hash it stands for id but we are putting it we put this this is a class we are actually creating so we make it dot profile profile remember the dot profile we created earlier on so dot profile we move down and inside this profile wanted to have a background picture back ground background we have called our background function in css we say url and now remember we are coming to put where our picture is going to take um yeah, its effect now this is custom page coming let me minimize this we are styling it here and um php rad have automatically link whatever you style here the root file to assets so you don't need to type something like this assets slash images images slash something something you just remove this asset because the root file to this custom css is asset so you don't need it so you just start from the folder that is inside the assets you want to access so i want to access the this um, folder called images and inside this folder called images i want to look for a file there is a picture i placed there the name of the picture is profile 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 one and is a jpg file okay i'll say okay preview boom <laughs> how does it look like we just have our picture we, we didn't even type picture here or something we just give it this class so this is the class that is working profile bg you can just name it profile dog profile dog is not working but when you come here and change this thing to profile dog okay you have your effect so pause at this moment let me show you something remember i typed um images profile bg and stuff where am i actually getting this is actually here this is our assets folder like i told you you don't need to type this because custom css custom js they are all located in this asset folder so you don't need to say access again because the entire thing is an asset so you just go straight to the folder inside the assets where you pasted the image which is this folder images i said images and inside that images folder i want to locate a file called this is the file i'm looking for so when you open it let me show you that it's actually you see the picture we are using so these are the rest of the pictures i've used remember we use slider one slider two slider three slider four and we have used logos and stuff so that is it don't just get uh, what's going on this that's actually where you is that uh, in this access images and stuff so let's preview it again but with this picture we couldn't see our test and we want to give you know something like an overlay that will cover this thing a bit don't worry we can do that uh, what, what we can do is we will come here in this guy remember we typed bg here now we are typing the second one in this container okay we will give it um overlay we call it over overlay light this name of the class we want it to bear but okay okay don't worry don't worry you will see, you will notice it by yourself so we go ahead and create the class um dot overlay overlay light background rgb i like using this rgb stuff um 255 don't worry about this guy just type as i did 255 255 0 0.8876 um this is a color code and this is css general function remember we used it here and we are using it here but this guy is a color code you can simply put any color you want you can type as you can go as straight as forward and say green red 
blue just like this blue or you can type um, something like uh, green of course CSS will pick the color and it will just display but I'm using a color code um, this color code okay I will say all right preview it good so we have that overlay on it but notice something notice something I always talk about notice something it didn't get to this extreme why why what is going on don't worry don't worry I will tell you why it's because of this guy here container if you want to take it off just do this type container dash fluid I mean you want it to reach both extreme good container dot fluid wow so we are um, we are set the next thing we are going to do is to add um, our subscribe or our field something like this we want to add it here so that our users can just simply type in their email address and subscribe to our landing page wow I'll catch you guys in the next one don't be you know a bit uh, pissed off that this guy his videos are short yes it's short so that um, we have our friends here who is not good in custom code and when you are doing custom code like this you need to give them time to digest it to go over it over and over and over again thank you guys i'll catch you guys in the next one safe